Former WNY reporter Emily Matesic covered the Stephen Avery murder case in Wisconsin when it caught just the eyes of Americans in 2005. Now nine years after Avery's conviction, the docuseries Making a Murderer on Netflix is extending overseas. Everything that is presented in the series was presented at trial. I can tell you, though, that there was it was hours and hours of, of testimony and hundreds of pieces of evidence. Emily says the case was huge, especially since Avery was exonerated in 2003 after he was wrongfully convicted of sexual assault in 1985 and served 18 years in prison. Then two years later, charged with the murder of 25-year-old Teresa Halbach. Avery's nephew, then 16-year-old Brendan Dassey, was also charged and later convicted for his role in Teresa's murder. Avery has maintained his innocence, saying he was framed by law enforcement. And the filmmakers of the series seem to highlight a possible injustice in the justice system. He's, he, Stephen Avery has been appealing his conviction since he, he was convicted. Um, his nephew um, is still going through the appeals process as well. Whether or not this brings out new evidence or new information, I, I have no idea. Um, I, I know the investigators sort of exhausted themselves investigating the crimes. Now, since the series December release, Emily has spoken to Hallbach's college friends. Here's a snippet from Emily's story from January 7th. Andy Barrett, another college friend, has once again started wearing the blue bracelet that honors Hallbach. It's got her name, Teresa, and then always in my heart. Uh, on there. A pastor now, he knows Halbach, who also had a strong faith, is watching over those still struggling with her death. Even amid all of this, um, I, I trust that she's in the care of someone who's uh, taking very good care of her right now. Um, and uh, I trust that God's doing that, that she's there, and that whatever uh, erupts here, um, she's in, in good hands. Stephen Avery's current girlfriend also spoke to the media about his case. I think maybe the only way that this is going to happen is if somebody comes forward. And that's something I've been praying for, that someone that knows something about the real killer will come forward. I just think a lot of people forget that a 25-year-old woman was brutally murdered here. I don't think people should forget the victim, Teresa Hallbach. This was a woman who had her whole life ahead of her and was taken from her, her friends and from her family.